so dear learners today we will be discussing the equilibrium with the help of indifference curves and budget line we have already shown under the marshallian approach that equilibrium is the point of maximum profit and whenever this point of maximum profit is reached the consumer or a firm has got the tendency to remain at that point for for a certain period of time even in real life if the equilibrium cannot be achieved the effort is to go towards equilibrium in the marshallian analysis we had noticed that equilibrium happens where marginal utility of x and price of x are equal to 1 they are in a unitary position that is 1 upon 1 marginal utility equals price wherever the price paid is equal to the marginal utility of course under that system utility is assumed to be measurable under the indifference curves analysis utility is considered to be i mean there is no need to measure utility only the orders can be assigned this is the cardinal approach but i am trying to show certain fundamental similarities between the marshallian approach and the approach of the indifference curves see marginal utility of x and price of x should be equal to 1 it's only that point where the purchase takes place where the decision takes place where the equilibrium happens now supposing there are two commodities and the equilibrium is being studied with two commodities that is marginal utility of y is equal to price of y now these are the two commodities now it can be rewritten as mux upon muy is equal to px upon py this is by cross multiplication this cross multiplication this gives us marginal utility of x upon marginal utility of y this should be y is equal to price of x price of y and we can write this uh, under the indifference curves analysis we know that m r s x y is equal to px upon py under the indifference curves analysis where marginal rate of substitution of x for y with regard to the two commodities is in a unitary position there the actually equilibrium takes place so if you notice that this situation and this situation is exactly the same under the marshallian analysis also we get px py unitary situation is created between px and py similarly under the indifference curves analysis this unitary situation is being created between x and y through this equation px py px py so both the angles are not so different the marshallian analysis also takes the same approach regarding equilibrium and the indifference curves theory also takes the same approach regarding equilibrium the only thing is that marshallian theory is based on the wrong assumption of the measurement of utility whereas under the indifference curves theory the measurement of utility is not done utility is not measured 
it is considered to be unmeasurable so over here and over here the results are the same but approach is totally different now let us concentrate a little on marginal rate of substitution because this is going to do wonders for us we are going to use this term again and again so i want to make it a clear uh, it clear to you as to what does this mean mrs xy this means the rate at which x is substituting y that is the rate at which x is being gained and y is being sacrificed whatever quantity of y you leave and whatever quantity of x you get this is the actually marginal rate of substitution of x for y supposing this is negative this is this will be the shape of the curve wherein originally this is the om quantity of y and om quantity of x which is being purchased on ic1 now supposing situation the consumer's preference changes and this is another combination ol of y and oq of x is being purchased now here what happens actually ml is being sacrificed and nq is being gained and we know that ml is greater than n q that means more is being sacrificed and less is gained when i portion left is bigger than the portion gained then the mrs xy is negative now supposing mrs xy mrs xy is positive now if mrs xy is positive then what will happen that means x that is gain is less and y uh, that is loss leaves whatever is being left that is more and whatever is being gained that is again more both are more less is sacrificed and more is received this can be shown with the help of a concave curve in this curve you will notice supposing this is a this is b and this is c a b is the sacrifice and b c is the gain so b c is greater than a b gain is more loss is less then marginal rate of substitution of x for y becomes positive so first is negative second is positive there are two more situations with regard to mrs xy these are the exceptional situations in the case of complementary goods in the case of complementary goods what we find that the shape of uh, the curve becomes like english capital letter l because only definite combinations of these two commodities can be used not less not more let us take a scooter in a scooter you have two tires so wherever one scooter is demanded two tires will be demanded 
and if we include the stepney tire also then it makes three so combination will be one scooter is two three tires supposing two scooters are demanded then the tires will go in the ratio of six there cannot be any other ratio and the highest complementarity can be found in the case of left shoe and the right shoe if you have two sets of left shoe then the same number of right shoe has to be there it cannot be more it cannot be less in this case the other combinations become useless supposing this is 1 and this is this is 3 this is 1 or 2 now no other combination possible so this line will be extended in this direction and this line will be extended in this direction and it gets the form of english capital letter l because all other combinations are useless another may be perhaps 6 and 4 so somewhere here again the indifference curve will assume the shape of english capital letter l here marginal rate of substitution of x for y is 0 then in another situation the marginal rate of substitution is equal to 1 and this happens when the curve is drawn at 45 degree angle somewhat like this this is the indifference curve shape of the indifference curve now whatever you lose the same amount you get your gain and your loss is equal so mrs xy is 1 clear now we are clear about the marginal rate of substitution what does marginal rate of substitution do it tells us about the curvature or the shape of the indifference curve indifference curves are dependent on the rate of substitution if the rate is higher on the negative side the curve will have a deeper curvature if it is lesser it may have less deeper curvature and so on and so forth so marginal rate of substitution means the rate at which x is substituting y in in order to understand the equilibrium with the help of indifference curves the first condition that should be satisfied is that mrs xy should be negative mrs xy should be negative and number 2 budget line should be tangent on the indifference line budget line is tangent on indifference curve what do you mean by tangent tangent means it should touch the indifference curve and at the point where it touches that is the point of stable equilibrium if mrs xy is negative if mrs xy say is positive then the stable equilibrium cannot be created so in order to create the equilibrium with the help of indifference curves we need to have two things one that there is a budget line map these are the budget lines
and this is an indifference map. I see one, I see two, I see three. See, what do we have in these two grams, diagrams? On, in one diagram, there is budget line. In another diagram, there is the indifference map. This is budget line map. This is indifference map. Now, if we pick up this map and superimpose on this map, then both these situations can be satisfied. This map is being picked up and superimposed on this one. See, now this has been picked up from here and put over there. What happens is that this budget line LM is tangent on IC1 at point E. So this is the point of equilibrium and this will be a stable equilibrium. But please do notice that this IC1 touches another budget line at this point also and this point also supposing this is f and this is g these are the two points where it touches here also the indifference curve touches here also the indifference curve touches here also the indifference curve touches at all these points all these other points there can be no equilibrium which is stable Equilibrium is being established, no two opinions about it. But this will be unstable equilibrium. This equilibrium will not last for a longer period of time. So in order that the equilibrium stays for a longer period of time, these two conditions should be satisfied. Number one, MRS XY should be negative, which is denoted by the shape of the indifference curve. And second point, that budget line should be tangent on the indifference curve. So if budget line is tangent on the indifference curve and MRS XY is negative, then equilibrium created will be the stable equilibrium. Clear? So now for equilibrium, there should be two conditions. One, that there is a budget line, which we get from a budget map. Maybe many lines, which is a map, and then we have indifference curves. Both are independent of each other. Neither the indifference curve is dependent on the budget line, nor the budget line is dependent on the indifference curve. Both are independent of each other. Both were created separately. But then what we did was, we took one diagram of budget line and superimposed it on the other diagram of indifference maps and the actual purchase decision could be found out. And we know that equilibrium is a point of maximum satisfaction. So wherever a consumer gets the maximum satisfaction, the consumer or the market would like to remain in that state for a certain period of time. That is how we call it equilibrium. Now, there may be one another situation with the help of indifference curves regarding equilibrium. Supposing this is a budget line L1, LM, this is the indifference line IC1, this is another indifference line IC2. Now you must be noticing that two equilibriums are being created. One at E, another one at F. 
of course at this point g also the budget line is touched by the indifference curve multiple equilibriums are created but please do remember that this equilibrium at point e will not be a stable equilibrium because the curve is concave in this area this is unstable why because the curve is concave in this portion like this this is the situation this is a concave curve and this is the budget line so here also you must be noticing that it is concave and this is the budget line so obviously therefore this equilibrium will be established for some time but with it will immediately get disturbed so this in true sense will not be an equilibrium on the other at point f what you notice that curve is negative curve has got the mrs xy is negative curve is negative slope and it touches on the budget line it budget line is tangent on the indifference line so on ic2 what you notice is that the indifference that the equilibrium is being created which will be stable so these are the situations where in equilibrium can be created equilibrium can be understood with the help of indifference curves analysis the benefits of equilibrium uses of equilibrium we have already discussed while discussing the equilibrium under the marshallian approach like equilibrium is not always there it may not be there in the real life but it shows us a direction towards which every individual wants to move every market wants to move and every market wants to remain in the state of equilibrium because equilibrium point is the point of maximum profit but under the marshallian method there is an inherent weakness that is utility has to be measured but in this case utility is not to be measured without measuring going into the measurement of utility we get to know the equilibrium because in difference curve shows the various combinations that a person wants to purchase and budget line tells the combinations that a person can purchase so want and can meaning thereby the preference desire and the actual money income year mark for the purpose when the two match equilibrium is created this equilibrium is created at a point where the budget line is tangent on the indifference and in order that the equilibrium is stable the indifference curve has to be convex at that point of equilibrium then only it will last for some time otherwise the equilibrium will keep on shifting it will not be stable equilibrium like in this case we have noticed that at e also the equilibrium is created but this equilibrium is unstable equilibrium so that's all for the day